Hi, Scott from WapingTrollFin.com here. I am obsessed with battery runtime, battery savings, longer days on the water. I like to go 10, 12, 15 hours a day. I like to go to the National Forest Campgrounds in northern Wisconsin, camp and fish for several days a week. You don't have access to electricity. We've got a Lund Impact 1775 with a Minn Kota uh, 24, 24 volt Tarova. There's hundreds and thousands of volts out there just like it. Mine doesn't require electricity. That's what makes mine a little different. I've got a self-sustaining boat. Um, my team and I are actually putting together a documentary covering our entire system, the components we use uh, to do that. Um, one of the approaches we use to achieve that is to reduce the amount of energy that our trolling motor uses to do the job. And component we like for that is the Kippoa performance uh, prop so um, it runs about 50 bucks or so made in Ohio and uh, uh, I put it on last season I uh, I noticed immediately a, a little bit more speed for for casting at a little bit at lower thrust so I was, I was pretty pleased with it never really tested it um, and I've watched a few other reviews of speed tests and, and whatnot on this prop, and they're good. They're good tests. Um, the way we approached testing was using exact distances and using a stopwatch to time how long it takes to cover that distance at a given thrust. So we set up, uh, using the eye pilot on the Humminbird, we set up an eye track that was exactly 0.6 miles long. And then we set up from the start of that eye track uh, a point that was exactly 400 feet from the start of it. So we ran stock prop, 30% thrust for the first 400 feet. And then we kicked it up to 60% to go to the end of our eye track, turn around, and come back. So we got time for each of those two legs, the time, the distance traveled, all that. We'll go over the math here at the end of the video. Same thing with the Kippua, 400 feet at 30% thrust. The rest of that eye track, 60% uh, thrust, go to the end point, turn around, come back. So it covers the same exact ground, just show you the speed difference. And uh, I said I put it on a year ago, notice a little bit. I, I actually, you see the math, it's, it's pretty impressive. Um, I don't have any affiliation with Minn Kota, Kippua. I have no skin in that game. I'm just going to give you the information from our testing. Today we are testing uh, uh, speed, battery usage, and time of the uh, Minn Kota Wedge 2 uh, stock prop that came on my uh, Tarova versus the Kippua three blade prop. So what we've done, we're on a very small lake. It's about three quarters of a mile long. Uh, boat landing's right behind us. Take a look at the map here. We laid down an eye track that starts right at the boat launch and goes across right down the middle of the lake. It's 0.6 miles long. Uh, 400 feet from the start of that, I've got a, a marker there, uh, waypoint. Uh, so the first 400 feet, we're going to run at 30% thrust uh, just to get the gauge of what the top speed is, uh, running 30% thrust. And then the rest of it, um, the rest of that, we're going to run at 60% uh, thrust. So we're going to go down to the end, turn around, and come back. So we're going to down and back. Uh, and when that's done, we're going to see how much battery life is left. We'll have a, a total time of what that took uh, for e using each prop and then we'll have a top speed uh, that each prop achieved uh, at the two different thrust levels. Every once in a while we're hitting 0.8 miles per hour pretty steady at 0 0.7. We're almost to our waypoint here so Looks like uh, 0.8 is our top speed at 30% uh, thrust on a stock uh, weed, weedless wedge prop. 
we're just about to the end of the first leg on our eye track here um, speed wise with the stock prop uh, most of the time between 1.4 and 1.6 as high as 1.7 was the highest um, breeze a little bit of a breeze uh, a little bit of a headwind every once in a while taking us down to about 1.3 miles per hour uh, hopefully that stays consistent uh, when we throw on the the Kippawa uh, I know on the way back it's probably gonna increase our our speed a little bit here but uh, uh, it's about what I expected for speed at 60% thrust. Oh, uh, it's about 460 feet away from our end point here on our return leg. Um, speed wise, again, you know, topping out 1.6, 1.7 for just a fraction of a second. Uh, because we had just a little bit of a uh, tailwind coming back, we were more consistent in that 1.5. Uh, miles per hour speed range um, so we could finish off this track here last few hundred feet and then uh, we'll throw throw the battery charger on uh, to see what what kind of percentage of, of battery we used in this uh, 1.2 miles okay battery 2 79 percent so we've used about 20 percent of our charges uh 54 minutes of runtime total okay so we just finished our uh time and speed trials with the stock prop check the battery percentage rather than run home to charge up the batteries before we throw the kippawa on i'm going to invest a little bit in my fishing future on this particular lake it's a small lake close to home that I could hit uh, for a few hours or whatever but I don't have a, a great uh, auto chart live map of this lake yet um, from what I've heard fishing wise it's better um, as far as trolling cranks for walleyes and whatnot uh, it's a better lake uh, uh, if you're trolling the brake lines we just went right down the middle um, just to avoid the boat traffic which worked out great we didn't have any interruptions and in, in our uh, uh, first testing so we're gonna take oh an hour or so and just uh, run across uh, some of these brake lines mark some more structure again investment in my fishing future on this lake but it's gonna allow that that stealth DC charger to put charge back into those trolling motor batteries so we can check the percentage after that and get a better idea uh, battery usage of that stock prop versus uh, the Kipwell prop so we'll see you soon okay we're about 15 minutes into just cruising around the brake lines on this lake filling in the map a little bit uh, we've covered about half the shoreline and at 15 minutes just cruising home five six miles an hour um, just show you what that stealth charging system did for us and at 15 minutes we've gone to where we've got four lights on our Minkota so we're gonna finish out another 15 20 minutes here of, uh, of mapping out that primary brake line and then uh, we'll go resume testing uh, throw on the Kippa prop Ninety-one percent. So a nice gain back in just a short time of exploring the water. We just started uh, uh, the first four hundred foot at thirty percent thrust leg with the Kippawa prop on, and we're already getting higher speed. Uh, we're bottoming out about 0.7. We're topping out 0 0.8, 0 0.9 on occasion. Okay, we just passed our four hundred foot uh, uh, waypoint there. Uh, using the Kippawa prop um, We can topped out a little bit higher speed in that 400 foot stretch. We actually did it in 59 seconds less time. We'll do all the math to get average speed and all that here uh, When we get off the water, but pushing at 1.9 miles per hour uh, We're going into the wind. I expect at some point we're gonna steadily go two miles an hour. We just hit two 
um, but will exceed um, that uh, the speed at the same thrust versus the stock by a good 10%, maybe even more. We're actually hitting 2.1 miles per hour on occasion now. Wind picked up a little bit, we're heading straight into it right now, and we're still, uh, our, our speeds are dipping down to a point higher than what we're achieving with, with the stock prop. Uh, and just let up a little bit, 1.8, 1.8, 1.9, Two. So even now that wind just picked up again, we're still hovering in that two miles per hour range. Okay, just hooked up the charger here after our time distance trial with the Kipwa prop. Let's see what we got left here. 76%. Okay, let's uh, revisit junior high school math here for a minute. We have a train a mile long traveling at 60 miles per hour. Oh, sorry, wrong math problem. Stock prop, 400 feet, 0 0.076 miles, covered that distance, a 30% thrust in six minutes and 39 seconds, or 0.11 hours. Uh, peak speed of 0.8 miles per hour, an average speed of 0.69 miles per hour. Kipwa prop, 400 feet, 30% thrust, covered that in 5 minutes and 40 seconds, or 0.094 hours. Peak speed of 0.9 miles per hour, an average speed of 0.81 miles per hour, 17.39% uh, faster. On the longer leg of our eye track, uh, it was 5,936 feet or 1.12 miles. The stock prop at 60% covered that in 47 minutes and 58 seconds or 0.8 hours. A peak speed of 1.7 miles per hour. Average speed 1.4 miles per hour. For the Kippua prop at 60% for 1.12 miles, we covered that in 37 minutes and 16 seconds, or 0.62 hours. A peak speed of 2.1 miles per hour. Average speed of 1.81 miles per hour. Average speed 29% faster. That's a big number. Uh, you extend that out, you know, this was 40 some minutes extend that out across a day several days um, the life cycle of your batteries that's a lot a lot less thrust use over time to achieve the speed you want maybe these aren't the speeds you want this is what we achieved using uh, the given thrust percentage that we used and uh, you know um, I just look at it from another perspective too, wear and tear on my trolling motor. An electric motor, when it's running, produces heat. What kills an electric motor over time? Heat. So if you're using less thrust to do the job, you're creating less heat. Um, I, I have had lower units rebuilt on my trolling motors a couple of times. It's been several years now since I've had that done. It was pretty spendy, 150 bucks. It's probably 200, 250 bucks now um, to uh, rebuild that. That's uh, several Kipua props and and fishing baits and rods, reels, whatever you're into that you could spend elsewhere. Uh, is my take on that. Uh, so yeah, I pretty impressed with those numbers uh, that's it for our Kipwa prop review if you have any uh, questions comments put them down below uh, again my team is putting together a documentary uh, on our entire self-sustaining boat system uh, testing that we've done um, and that is due for release on May 15th of 2022 
the uh, uh, hit the subscribe button below. Um, get a notification of when uh, when that's available and check it out. Thank you.